looking at your running game, um, having the ability to go to a different guy, maybe if something isn't working with the with the one guy, the other guy. I mean, is that how, is that an advantage for you when you're trying to build a running game or, or, or uh, get something done on a Sunday, or Saturday? I, I, yeah, I think I think we are uh, fortunate to have two different style runners in that in that regard. One one is a between the tackles downhill, tough feet keep moving. We'll take two or three tacklers with him, Spencer Ware. Then you have Sharkandrick, who is more of that left and right jump cut, you know, gives you a little more quickness in and out of the hole, burst of speed. Uh, it kind of gives you two different flavors. Um, and it's good to have two types like that in your game plan because uh, you, can, you can dial those up at any time, you know, and give you two different, uh, two different looks uh, to, to a defense. How does that make things more difficult for them? Well, it may even simplify, you know, I, I, if, if, if they're studying an individual, uh, I think like we do when we study corners or safeties or DNs, you know, there's tendency there. Um, what type of runner, what type of plays do they use with that particular back or backs in the, you know, in the game? Um, and, I, and I think that can, that can help a defense potentially, you know, if they're, if they're looking at those types of things. And, but, you know, they got to be ready for everything. Um, got to be ready for all all 11 guys offensively and and uh, you know we just we just try to as coaches we just try to put our guys in the best best situation you know what uh, first of all tremendous player as, as we all know and uh, they're doing a little bit more with him now. They're they're moving him around, standing him up, lining him up over the center, lining him up at linebacker. You know, they're just trying to create an edge for him and utilize his strength at rushing the passer. And we have to be aware, offensive line, quarterback, backs, uh, in our protection schemes. We just got to know where he's at and understand understand why they're doing certain things. But you know, the game plan for us. You know, become simple. Try to try to stop J.J. Watt, and and they've got a lot of other good players on that defensive line as well. And but he's one that you have to know where he's at, um, and try to put as many hands as you can on him. You just try to hope to, to slow him down the best you can. You put an extra guy there. There's times uh, based on your protection schemes that there'll be an extra guy there. It's not all the time. It, most of the time he's he's going on a tackle, you know, right or a left uh, offensive tackle. And uh, you know we ask our quarterback not to not to hang on to the football, and we ask our receivers to do certain things in, in route uh, route running. So, um, but but there will be times when yeah, there, there'll be times when there's two tight ends or a back and a tight end or a tight end and a tackle that are they're going to have to you know block him in protection. Some teams in uh, I mean, you guys go with a uh, lineman as a tight end and a short yards type. A lot of teams now are going with a tackle on first and ten. And uh, is that something you guys don't like to do because you give up a receiver? Sometimes I, I guess your philosophy is why take one of your better players off the field, you know, unless your tackle is a better athlete, um, which in some cases it, it could be. But, you know, I think, too, it, it, it comes down to a matchup. Potentially you can get the defense into a certain look. Uh, you know they're going to be an exact coverage or front. Uh, with that type of personnel group, and um, you know, we we just don't we we choose not to do it, uh, for, you know, for for those reasons. But um, teams do it, and they are successful. How would you assess Alex Smith's season today? I think he's having a probably his best season of his career. Honestly, um, you know, numbers may not be up there with some of the top guys in the league, but but his wins and losses are. Um, He's, he's understanding what we're asking him to do. We've, we've given him more um, opportunities in games to get us out of certain things or put us into certain things. And, and so from that standpoint, he's having a, um, he's, having a he's leading this football team like, like we knew he was capable of doing and, and um, um, giving us opportunities to win games. And I, I really think he's having his, his best, best year of his career. When you pay uh, as much money as you do to him, you use two high draft picks to get him. Uh, is this time of year, is this when he has to step up his game even more? Well, I think everybody has to do that, and whether it's Alex Smith or 
you know, um, Shark Kendrick West or, you know, Jeremy Macklin, Kelsey. I think I think they all have to. I, I think if you asked any one of those players that are still playing in the postseason that at this time of the year, money doesn't really matter. Contract status doesn't really matter. The fact that you're in the tournament with an opportunity to play again next week uh, is all the motivation that those guys need. Have you gotten any calls from... Uh... Couple more, guys. Go ahead. I think it's just his 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 cunning ability to, to scramble. He he's very uh, very elusive. He understands protection. He understands w uh, when defenses are pressuring him, um, and and he he's not afraid to take off. I think it's a natural natural instinct that he has. Uh, most quarterbacks have that uh, ability to do that, and, and I think too that that sometimes it gets. Um, it gets overlooked a little bit. The fact that he can run and run run well. You saw that last week with with a couple big scrambles for us to, to, to keep us on the field. And you know, it's something that we don't talk to him about scrambling all the time, obviously. But but when he can, you know, he makes the most of it and, and usually gets us the first down. Last one, guys. Have you established with him the idea that when you pull the ball down and you're going to run, you're a runner, and we don't want you dancing around. With yeah, no, he he understands that. And it, again, it's a having played the position you can't take the the load like a like a running back can or a tight end can so you know that when you're in you know say between the numbers that you have to you have to protect yourself and you have to slide and you have to get down at the right time or use the sideline and get out of bounds and he, he's very uh very aware of that have you gotten any calls from other teams for interview time i have not i have not no